Okay, so in this lesson of the tutorial, we're going to start modeling the interior cage portion of our car. And the easiest way to go ahead and do this is simply just use one of the original base meshes from our original car that we were, whenever we first modeled it. And that way we can just simply extrude in, delete a few faces off, and separate the mesh and then you basically have the interior portion of your car. If you did this by hand with, you know, a polygon plane, it would take an excessive amount of time. Within a few, you know, simple tool moves there, you can actually see that I do already have a, a decent portion of the interior part of the car. And it just takes a little bit of extra time to, to go ahead and shape and, and polish it to where it's going to fit the interior portion of the car perfectly. Mm, you could use the, well two-sided material with V-Ray, but it's still not going to look like it's thick, so we sort of want to add that illusion of being thick, and it's easier if we just, you know, use the interior portion, of the, uh, use a previous model and make the interior portion of the car, and that way, it, you know, we don't have to use the, the V-Ray two-sided material, and we can add a little bit of extra detail inside of the car, especially with, like, seat belts and, and things like that. And as you can see here, I'm just simply deleting the faces off that we aren't really going to need. Trying to match the same layout that the car has. And it just takes a little bit of time of, you know, polishing and, and editing farts and deleting faces just to make sure that everything fits properly and nice. And you just have to adjust a few verts here and there, and it's much easier to do it this way and faster. And you can see where I'm just simply trying to, you know, edit faces so that it's going to line up with the interior portion of the car as, as well as I can. And this way, if the car was going to be animated and you were going to render it, at least with the door open, you would have a a decent shot where the interior portion of the car would show up and you wouldn't see you know a double sided paint material car paint material and you wouldn't see you know what would look like just a, a very thin door you, it would actually give you the illusion of you know being thick <coughs> this is the case here because all of our windows are you know, fairly large and you can really see through the car so we have to be mindful of that.
and I'm just trying to polish the edges here so that it's, you know, like I said, going to line up as well as I can. And this just takes a little bit of editing, and it's all on, you know, personal preference as well of how much work you actually want to put into, into your model. And I want to leave at least a little bit of space in between the interior portion of the car and the the actual car body because then this way whenever I go to extrude the edges there I will I will be able to add a you know a decent amount of thickness and it's really going to look like it's you know a sort of thick interior and it looks it will look like it has a lot of substance to it You basically don't want it to look, you know, like paper thin. This is definitely not the easiest part of the of the model. Um, this is more just, you know, a lot of time consuming effort and if you work at it you'll get it. And you can see where I'm simply just, you know, continuing continuing to adjust verts and trying to place it properly. And it's all just, you know, adjustment here, adjustment there. Trying to get it to match properly. And you can see where it doesn't take that much time, but um, you do definitely have to put a little bit of a little bit of effort in to get your interior of the car to be fitting properly. <laughs> 